Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use effects and automation in Machine. So I have a couple samples already loaded up that I'll be using to demonstrate. I'll be adding effects on each pad, as well as on the entire group. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is select the pad that you want to add an effect on. And I'll just start with the kick here. Once you have that, go up here and hit F3 to select sound. Once we add effects on the group, you can choose that, and the master bus is there also, but we'll start with sound. So you have your sound selected, and now the next thing you want to do is hit the navigation button. And this shows the different modules. On every sound, the first module is always a sampler, and that allows the sound to actually play. So you don't want to add an effect over that, or else you won't hear anything. Um, so we'll start with number two here, and then let go of the nav button, and you're selected on module number two. And you can see here how there's nothing loaded already. So you have your second module selected on your kick. The next thing you want to do is hit the shift button and the browse button to enter modules. And this is pretty similar to the normal browse mode. You have um, internal and plugin effects. And I'll just go with internal effects here because those are nice. And um, you can access the list here. So in browse mode, you can choose all of these different effects. And um, I'll just go with transient master for the kick. So once you have it selected, all you have to do is hit down on the Browse knob and then exit Browse mode. So now you can see you have your different parameters for Transient Master. And um, you can scroll through those by hitting the Nav button and then different arrows. So you're all set to make your effects sound good. So it's pretty easy just to scroll through and keep playing it and making it sound how you like it. So once you're done with one pad, it's really easy to go on to the next one. Just select your second pad, make sure you're on sound, make sure you're on the second module, and then you can go and enter the uh, module list again. So for the snare, I will put a compressor on. Um, again, just press down, go ahead and exit. So another way to scroll through these different parameters is hitting the nav button and then any of these bottom ones down here. There are different sets for each effect and um, it's basically a quicker way to get through than using the arrows. So I'm going pretty quickly here just to show you how it's done. but. You can get the general idea of it. Might not sound the best, but um, that's up to you. So you can see how it's pretty easy to add effects to each pad. Now say you want to add an effect on the entire drum kit, on the entire group. To do that, the process is the same except for um, selecting group up here. So again, group, um, and then you can go to the nav button. And groups don't have any, um, any modules already loaded, so um, you can go ahead and select that one. And I already have one on here. But the process is the same, just going through the um, browse menu and selecting one. So I have some reverb on here just to um, give it some space. And um, yeah, that's pretty easy just to add effects on the entire group instead of going through on each sound and adding like a reverb. That'd be pretty tedious. Um, so that's how you add effects on individual pads and on the entire group. Another interesting thing you can do in Machine is called automation. And basically that's automating a certain parameter of effect to change in time with your beat. So to demonstrate that, I'm just going to record a quick pattern. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is add an effect, or you can choose one that you already have, but um, you can add an effect that you want to automate. So I'm gonna go to the group, um, go to my second module, and add a filter. Um, there it is, exit. And now once you have an effect selected, find the parameter that you want to automate. In this case, I'm going to automate the cutoff frequency of my filter. So you can play back the beat and change the filter and change the parameter and see how it sounds. And 
And if you want to record that, all you have to do is while it's playing, hold down the shift button and turn the knob. All right, so that's really easy to do. If you want to automate any other parameters, just go and select another one, and the process is the same, holding down the shift button and turning the knob. If at any point you don't like what you've recorded, you can just hit the shift button and then pad 10 to clear automation, and it's back to normal. So basically, yeah, that covers effects and automation. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. If you have any other interest, you can check out um, the first couple ones that I already have uploaded. And also, any suggestions are much appreciated. So thanks for checking these out. Stay tuned for more music, more tutorials, more samples. And thanks for watching. See ya.